Welcome to the Capital Spine and Pain Center's patient video series. Our board certified physicians are committed to helping you better understand your condition and the non-surgical treatment options that are available at one of our many clinics throughout the Washington DC area. We've created this series of patient videos to help you find the answers to your important questions about acute and chronic pain. An epidural steroid injection is a type of treatment that is used to help reduce inflammation that is being caused by the arthritic condition that occurs in the spine affecting the discs. Essentially, the epidural steroid injection treatment consists of injecting an anti-inflammatory medication that usually is cortisone around a nerve root that is irritated. The epidural space is protected by bone and then muscle and that is where an epidural steroid injection is performed. In the epidural space live all the nerve roots that come out of the spinal cord and then these nerves in the lower back come to supply the legs. The nerves in the neck supply the arms, the nerves in the thoracic spine supply the chest. By stopping or limiting the irritation of the nerve root, you're helping slow down that inflammatory process and also helping Mother Nature speed up the healing of the nerve irritation. Various pain conditions can be treated with epidural steroid injections. Uh, some of these conditions include arthritic conditions that develop either in the neck or in the lower back. Uh, these conditions may be called by doctors as degenerative disc disease. Uh, you can have uh, stenosis, which is usually an arthritic buildup around the nerves or the spinal canal. Another type of condition is uh, spondylolisthesis, which is a hereditary or uh, arthritic process that occurs as you get older. And essentially, the uh, vertebral bodies develop a fracture in a part of that a retrieval body and it causes a slippage and as a result can actually cause irritation of the nerve. This procedure is usually performed under careful fluoroscopic or x-ray guidance. Usually the patient is brought into the fluoroscopy suite. They're laid on their stomach. Their back is sterilely prepped. After they are prepped, a needle then is used to numb the skin. The needle is then introduced in through the skin and directed under direct x-ray supervision towards the nerve space that holds the inflamed nerve root. This is then followed by the injection of a contrast or dye substance that will show up on the screen and that will ensure that it is safe to inject a cortisone solution. The recommended number of injections is three per a 12 month time frame. If a first injection is performed, a patient may gain approximately 50% improvement and that can occur within three to seven days following the injection. A repeat injection can then be performed that can give the patient even more relief. 85% of the time, patients do well and the effects can last for many years, but as little as a few weeks and in those patients, they would require surgical consultation. For more information about non-surgical solutions for pain relief, call us at 703-914-8000 or visit our website at www.treatingpain.com.